Welcome back to Stooge Stream for another episode. It's video game pickups time. I know it's been a little while since the last one, but I've picked up a nice little stack of stuff in between now and then, and it's worth showing off. So let's have a look. First up, we have Pokemon Naranja version. This is a ROM hack of Pokemon. Um, this is actually going up for sale. So you'll find this on my eBay shop tomorrow, being Saturday the 1st of April. Um, it'll probably be under 20 bucks plus shipping. I know people love the Pokemon hacks. I'm not a huge fan of them. But, got it for cheap enough that I can pass it on for cheap enough that it's worth it. This one's definitely going in my collection. Now, if you watched the last episode, you would have seen that I picked up a bunch of Disney Game Gear games, including Aladdin, uh, Deep Duck Trouble, Legend of Illusion, sorry, Land of Illusion, and now I have the classic Castle of Illusion for Game Gear. It's a Japanese copy, but it doesn't really matter because you don't really read too much in it. Uh, this cost me, I want to say, about $12. It's been a while, um, but it, yeah, it would have been about $12. These two I actually picked up recently, and while picking these up, I got a copy of Burnout Legends for G Banks. Um, and also in that day, I got him a copy of uh, Resident Evil, one of the Wii light gun shooter ones. I already had it, so Umbrella Chronicles, that's it. So these were $2 each, and I thought, for that price... I'll add them to the um, PSP collection. Nothing special. World Cup Soccer 2 and Ratatouille. They were both complete. They were two bucks. Why not? Um, Ratatouille actually isn't as bad as you think it would be. It's not great, but it's not horrid. A game I've been wanting for a while. I ended up getting it for $20. It's region free. The only problem is it is in Japanese, so I'm going to have to use like videos to work out how to do stuff. But apparently once you work out where the quest counters are and all that type of thing, everything's fairly easy. So for $20, and I think this is, other than the Master System and Mega Drive ones, from the Dreamcast on, this is the last Fantasy Star game I needed. So Fantasy Star Online 2. Complete from Japan, and as I said, that was $20, so I was much happy with that. Now, on to the console games. I've gotten through all the handheld stuff, now it's the console stuff. So, this game I ended up getting for free. Um, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff uh, off of Seller from eBay, including some comics and stuff. They never arrived. I put in a claim, and then about three weeks after the claim got paid, they rocked up. So I was like, okay, they must have been sent after I'd gotten the refund, which is weird, but whatever. Um, so for free, PS4, Lego The Hobbit. Lego games aren't bad. This was going to cost me about $6, so I wasn't too concerned with paying for it, but ended up getting it for free. Um, another auction I won that I was really happy about the price because this is still quite expensive even second hand over here for some reason um, but I got it really cheap $19 now keep in mind all the prices I'm giving you are Australian so if you're from the US take about 25% off the prices if you're from the UK I think it's about 35% Canada is about the same anywhere else in the world you're gonna have to translate the prices yourself but for $19 got Skyrim for PS4 Pretty happy with that. Um, and I've already put way more than $19 worth of hours into it, so I've got my money's worth there. This is definitely the month for this game. Uh, if you haven't played it yet, this is actually really good. And the disc is still in my PS4 currently. Just putting all the paperwork back in it. Um, I've been really, really enjoying this, and Banks has bought it as well. We're going to be doing some multiplayer on this. You may, may see some video on Stooge Stream of this eventually, maybe. Uh, but Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is a fantastic game. Now, I paid full price for this, which is 80 bucks in Australia. 
Yeah, new games are a rip-off. Um, I think it's already gone down to about 60, but I don't really care. I've put so many hours into this game already. I've got, I'm getting my money's worth easily. There is so much content in this. Uh, it feels like Far Cry mixed with The Division mixed with Just Cause. If that makes any sense. And there is just so much shit scattered across the map to do. You will not get bored playing this game. And last two I actually just picked up today. I walked into, better make sure that they're, yep, that's in there and the other one's sealed. Uh, walked into JB Hi-Fi and now having a two for 70 on some games that were only a few months old. And there's a couple of games that I haven't heard the greatest things about, but still want to play. And for 35 bucks each, it's like, okay, I can justify that. Um, and that is Mafia 3. Considering I nearly paid 50 for this less than two weeks ago, I went, mm, nah, it's just a little bit too much. I was happy to pick it up for um, 35 bucks. I'm sure I can get $35 worth of play out of that. And another game that basically I only play the campaigns in these. Um, the multiplayer, I may have a few rounds of, but really doesn't interest me all that much, so I don't really play a lot of. But the campaign, I usually have a lot of fun with. So for 35 bucks, I thought, why not? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's just the normal edition. The Legacy Edition was still like 80 bucks. I'm like, no. I've got Modern Warfare, uh, the original, on Xbox 360. I don't really need another copy of it. But for 35 bucks, I'll play Infinite Warfare. So not a bad little haul for the past couple of weeks. One, two, three, four, five PS4 games, two... PSP games, one Vita, one Game Gear, and one GBA. Not bad. Not bad at all. What have you been picking up recently? Let me know in the comments below, on Reddit, on YouTube, wherever you want. Thank you so much for watching. Is there anything that you have your eyes on that you've just been waiting for the price to come down on, like Call of Duty and Mafia 3 for me? Let me know. There's a whole lot of stuff that I'm sure the price is going to drop soon and will be worth picking up. Until next time, I've been your host, The Stooge. Again, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, adventure, excitement, Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to The Stooge Revolution.